think he's here, Robin. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> now, Meg, I heard you were mad at us for two days now. Well, I was sort of mad at you. What did we do? I like that you're mad at us. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I, I, mean, I just watched Cat People last night. That sounds like a... I'm wondering why you were mad at us. Oh, because, uh... <laughs> yeah? Because I came in, and I couldn't get at any of the things that I, as a disc jockey and an employee of this radio station, need to get at because of the Kinison entourage, which I find kind of disgusting, you know, Howard? Right. Well, that's it's nothing against you, really. But about other human beings. No, it's really not. Take a good look at them, Robin. So oh. then why would you be mad at us? I wasn't really mad at you. I just didn't want to come into the whole thing. And actually, when I tried to, and there were 900... Sleezoids in here, so I could barely fit in to get to the mic to get to my first record. Right. Uh, uh, people are kind of out of it, you know, so they don't even know you're in the room. Yeah, but even still, why, why be angry? You've got such a great job. You just come in. We and heard play that some you records. were cursing and sputtering. Yeah, I was real till, angry. I was. Just wait till we. But, but think about it's the logic first. of that. Wait till we clear out the studio. And then when the studio's cleared out, you come in and you do your show. You yeah, got a but great you wait, life. You wait, you wait until that happens, and like the first record's on, and you want to get the second one on. I know that this is like yeah, laughable but, to you, but you like not to have dead air in between them. When I you got nine million bimbos in the way. But then again, those bimbos are at, bringing in the ratings. That, that leave at ten o'clock in the morning saying, <laughs> right. "Have a nice night." Right. <laughs> but you can't be <laughs> mad over that. That's what well, that's I'm the station's sorry, bread was, and butter. I was, I was in a I was in a mood, Howard. She doesn't think clearly sometimes. I do. Look, she's not seeing the big picture. You know, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, we cleared out the, me and John cleared out the studio because it was real dirty and you know Meg was upset so we threw away all the champagne bottles I and threw away screaming. all the cops that she was, was screaming <laughs> and everything was clear and I'm sitting around looking and I say you know what else needs to be thrown out and then I realized Luna was in the corner <laughs> <laughs> Luna <laughs> I swear that's funny she's funny no, that's, that's funny. funny Luna's the one that left saying have, have, have a nice night yeah she's from uh, East Africa yeah she's a beautiful girl but yeah. uh, well they had to mm, drag her out she needs to go to bed once in a while she was in Sam's room with two naked girls yeah. and she they didn't want to get naked so Sam's bodyguard had to put see, her in a headlock see that's what I mean you got, you got so many people <laughs> listening to you you know there's just so much you could do oh get out of here What's the matter with you? What? what are you supposed to be what doing? What do you do? Now? What do you do? What do I do? We endorsed Rudy Giuliani today. Yeah, we just that did that. Oh. <laughs> oh, and you don't like that? You like? Tell me you're a Dinkin supporter. Oh, come on, tell me you're. You surprised. didn't know she was a Dinkin supporter. Come Wait a second. On. Hold it a second. Yes, of I'm course. surprised by anybody who would support Dinkins. You'd be very surprised if I said the opposite too, Howard. You, you support, know, you play it on both sides. You support Dinkins. Way to make for what look reason stupid. do you support him? I, I believe in him a hell of a lot more than Giuliani comes off to me like a real nasty, evil person, and Dinkins does yes. not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, but that's... Uh, yeah. You remember those cards you played, uh, Jackie Mason, after the... Yeah. See, that's what Meg strikes me as. If if they brought out uh, Larry Crackhead Davis and put right. him to run for... Meg would vote for... I know. Ah, a that's black guy. Not right, Critter. Meg would vote for any You're black Democrat. <laughs> No, oh, no, no. Meg, you're... I wouldn't vote for Jesse Jackson. You would okay? vote for Does a that guy. Make you feel no, you better? would vote for a guy who didn't pay his. Ta he forgot for four years to pay his taxes. That doesn't <sighs> disturb you. I don't get that. No, there's a lot. A of guy who won't debate. What, what's he why, afraid why of? Why is he afraid to debate? I don't know. Get up on it. I don't know the answer. I'm not to that, taking you know? any sides. I just do have these questions. There are, there are, you know, situations sometimes where I guess people do something like that that's not correct, but it doesn't a guy mean who ran a marriage, they wouldn't be a good. A guy who leader. ran a marriage license bureau. That's his experience? I think he's got a little more experience than that, Howard. Well, did you Tell me really what it know? is. Giuliani, you know, I mean, it's just it's a basic thing of reading people on character. That's what it is. It might not be the right way to do it. It might not be as well Meg, you're as trusting you your be, reading but... of people's character? Meg, look at your first husband. You read his character. <laughs> you know, you got to start again. Oh, Come on. Joe is okay. What is it? We're friends. What's the deal? Yeah, you had a pretty nasty divorce. Uh, you, well, tried, you, you know, <laughs> you read his character, and look at what happened. The only problem in that situation. Like you shouldn't trust your own as reading of characters. As soon as you read their Shut characters up. being good, go the opposite you way. You know, I'm a much better now, judge look of it, character. I love you guys. I'm right? a much better judge of character than <laughs> sure. you are. Go with me. <laughs> I don't know. You got married three weeks later. You're divorced. I'm a stormy kind of person, you know. This happens to be Meg is showing me a very beautiful picture of herself. And you see, Meg, this is something you got to avoid. It's a very beautiful picture of Meg and her son uh -huh. in this new magazine called um, New York Style. But, of course, <clears throat> it's an issue of women of the airwaves. So mm -hmm. Meg is next to Carol Miller. Uh -huh. And it's just Meg thrown in with a bunch of disc jockeys. What you have to do is insist. Oh, my God. This is Linda, Linda Ellergy. Energy. Energy, Energy from PLJ. Uh-huh. 
Oh, what a pig. Oh, oh. God. Who's Patty Steele of Z100? Ugh, God. Ugh. Well, Catherine's in there, too. Our own Catherine Lauren is in there, too. Who is this? Who's Catherine Lauren? Who is she? Uh, Catherine, does, Catherine was on the air last night. She does a lot of weekends, and uh, she's no a kidding. part-timer here. Yeah. Let's get her clothes off on this picture. Look, she's cute. <laughs> she is. Just part-timers here I don't even know about. I guess so. Part-timers, I'm sure I could bed down if I had been single. <laughs> hmm. Well, just Carol Miller. I could have gotten her at the uh, Who concert. Yeah, uh, please. Two seconds, I could have nailed her. Oh. oh. Where's Allison Steele? How come she's not in this? She was um, only just barely here at that point, I think. They didn't oh, really know that she was back on. Otherwise, they would have. Madam, too. They wanted to get Madam in it, but she was away. So you know, when you're interested angry, in a lot of the people here. When you're angry, Meg, you should come in and express yes, it. Absolutely. We don't want you harboring those people. We you don't know want what you it's to like, get an though, to I come heard... in here, wait a minute, with all you Go guys ahead. and Kinnison on your own. I'm That's sorry, true. but it's a little rough. Robin. It is rough. It is no. rough. We got this whole camp come here, on. sweetie. I got just me. I heard Meg was out in the hall <laughs> banging. See, we would have loved to have seen Meg Oh, I know banging... you would. Meg took her foot. Take pictures. Started banging it into a wall and screaming the F word. Yes. No, no. Oh, yes. Yes, Meg. Yes. I wish I could have seen that. Oh, that must have been so cute. I might have been walking around saying it but i don't think mm. i was kicking any walls yeah i was really mad i heard you were throwing things. You i don't like what those people do i did don't like yell? what they stand did for did you they, yell at that monkey turn off me. why monkey would i yell what? at him i don't know because uh, isn't he in charge not of you is anyone in charge of you forget about it <laughs> come to think of it now yes right. who's exactly. turn is it this week that's the one good thing about you <laughs> yes what is it gary no, meg was a little upset a little I, the, the, on, was why the upset? Words were the because she doesn't like, like other people's lifestyle yeah i mean it's well the f word and the slut word you. i don't like them getting in the way of the other people that oh yes here. he did she called them sluts you yeah i did to their face no dog just about <laughs> through the door. Oh. Yes, through the door. Well, I was yeah. screaming, and Gary's going, shh, shh, be quiet. I was like, I will not. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. right, Howard. It wasn't right. By who, though? By whose standards? Yours? By it, They shouldn't be in the way of other people that got stuff to do. But I walk show. in, and Gary says to me, under no circumstances, go into the jock lounge. Well, no, no. That's there for me. No, no, you should have gone in. They're in there with the doors closed Gary, doing no, no, stuff no, no. that... I, didn't say, I said, I didn't say don't go in. I said... I explained to Meg that I didn't think it was a good just idea. Just let her go in. Them. That'll be funny. Yeah. I think well, no, I should well, have. The radio show wasn't going on out there. The way there. I was going that morning, boy. You should have gone in. That would have been good. I was telling you more as a favor, Meg, than not as an order. Oh, you know I understand I mean. that. Yeah. I don't, totally understand that, but I don't think that don't that situation Don't be protective of Meg. Exist. What do you think? Meg can't see this Meg kind of stuff? Meg can handle it. I didn't even go in that room. You know, if they were up on stage at CBGB's, Meg would be idolizing That's those right. girls. If, no, I'm telling you. No, there's a lot of things at CBGB's. Meg would be right there. That's right. You know, next time. Smith is one thing. Next time Kinnison's people. Are in the uh, jock lounge. You allow Meg, if Meg wants to go in the jock lounge, to go in. If she wants to go in and that. throw him out, that's yeah. her business. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> oh, you sure would. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get that cat fights right on that radio. What up to the liberal Meg? Uh, there is no such the thing. The liberal Meg, Meg is Hitler. so confused no. about her orientation and her politics. Just because these girls like to party. There's just some stuff that's right and there's some stuff that's wrong, and we all have our own opinions on it, and that whole deal is way wrong. Wow. wow. Well, Meg, you know, I disagree, you but have to leave a little room for other people. Absolutely. Let's leave tolerant. room for uh, never going to bed and uh, doing all kinds of oh. things that are against the law and maybe catching some diseases while we're at it. Let's encourage oh. that. Huh? Well, I'm, not, well, encouraging I, I'm anything. not encouraging anything, but I don't. I tolerate everybody. Right. For ratings. So what was Woodstock, an outside whorehouse? But nothing right. more, yeah, nothing it probably else. was. I'm trying. I wasn't there. Well, she would have been there. I wasn't had she been old enough. No, you're <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> no, the point is that Meg uh -uh. walks I'd into a room, Altamont. sees people she disagrees right, with, with the, the Hell's Angels, That's right. and throws a tizzy. Right. And I say, let's bring more people into the station like this and liberate these hallways. We're trying to expose this. Liberate these hallways. And allow people to know what's going on. You top Jim Baker, I swear. That's right. <laughs> you top Jim Baker? You top Jim Baker, Robin. That makes perfect sense. I want to liberate these hallways. I want to liberate the hallways. Jim yeah, I heard Sam had some real nice things to say to Jessica in front of some uh, however many thousands out there the other night, too. You got some great. class friends. It was great. Yeah. Well, it Jessica had some just as nice things to say about him. That's, That's well, right. she should. <laughs> But at least she didn't stay in the hallway and do it. She did it in oh. front of everybody. That's right. <laughs> Boy, Meg has a really warped sense of logic. I, I know. She wow. she just doesn't even realize. Ah, no. There's I'll never understand you. Values, Howard. Yeah, I oh. have my values, oh, but I don't yeah. impose them on other people. I'm not imposing them, but I have a right to get upset about things that don't. Uh, Why please get upset me, about you know? somebody else's life? Yeah. What do you care? Uh, you've never been upset about nothing, Robin. Wait, huh? you get upset because you see. Sam's friends who you don't like their lifestyle? You mean you get upset? I, I get upset with the carrying on as if it's something that should be credited and laughed at and la-di-dod when people are dying as a result of some of this behavior. Yeah. 
You think? Okay, what is you want to so get serious? Yeah, yeah, yes, serious? I do. Yeah, oh, I do want to get serious. Because I think sometimes you, think... you do anything on these airwaves to get ratings, and <laughs> that upsets me too. <laughs> well, hey, let me tell you something. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with crack either, right? People like it, so let's push it. Nothing wrong with yeah, crack. Yeah, you see us doing that all the time. Do I do crack? Right. Just because something's popular, it doesn't mean that it's good. But do I do crack? No, Have you, you seen do us doing crack? I wasn't man. saying that. I think you're a little more intelligent to know that I was making a separate point. I don't get. I'm not that intelligent. You're wrong. <laughs> well, that's true. They even said that. Are you saying you have some crack on you? Because show. if you do, then I have to arrest you. <laughs> I wish that you would. But uh, she that's where we draw, draw the line. So, in other words, you're against me because I. What do I do on the air? You do support crack. things, Howard. I support you're not what just things? A, a running a radio uh, show. Oh, I'm not just running a radio show. I support you're what? You're supporting. You can do a whatever lifestyle. you want with it. I would do something different with it if I had that many people listening. I've seen her interview a lot of people, and she's done nothing different with it. But you've got to. You first got to get the people listening to you nothing different with what with what people in their aberrant lifestyles who you interview yeah what are you talking about you want to give me some examples how many years has it been that you've uh, interviewed, interviewed Joey Pete Ramone Townsend or Joey Ramone or any of these people I don't see you telling them to change their lifestyle Townsend is an evil man I didn't say he was evil so but what's wrong with talking to a guy drugs? that founded the first home for battered women in England that uh, has a so publishing Kinnison, company that so Kinnison's an evil man that otherwise wouldn't this is so a Kinnison's, good guy so Kinnison's an evil man I don't like what he stands for what does he stand for what does he stand for nothing that's not true why would you say he's an evil man? Abusing women. Abusing women? Being up for days on end out of his mind near a heart attack. You, okay? You're against his lifestyle, but you're for, like when the Beatles and the Stones do it. Right. I mean, when they're having That's okay. five or six women in a room. I don't see them doing that now, and I, don't don't, know. I certainly now. don't put them on the air and make jokes about it and encourage now. it. Now. Uh, let's yeah. up. You mean, if Sam wants to be with women... Multiple women, that's bad. And treat them like, uh... If any of the Rolling Stones walked in here today, you'd be... You'd be on your knees. Perfectly. Yeah, right, I'd you'd be, be thrilled. on your knees. I don't mean on your knees servicing them. I mean, you'd be on your <laughs> no. knees, you know, excited that they're here. Yeah. Carrying them in and oh, using absolutely. them in front of people on mic, and that's fine. Whatever the, whatever the Stones wanted to studio, do. If that was in no, it wouldn't be fine. No, you're wrong. No, but they did it anyway. Well, I, don't, disagree I don't understand because you're always the secrecy. Right. Of yeah. course I'm always right. Right. I'm always right. Anything for the dollar. Everything everything is as it seems. It's very logical. That's right. If it's the right Stones are doing face, it. When I walk in and see that garbage hiding? in the if hallways, I'm going to get upset about it because I think it stinks. And I think it's funny. Well, I know you do. What's Everybody knows you do. Us? It's Dante's Inferno in here. That's right. Dante's yeah. Inferno. And not only that, I am slowly taking over. Oh, I know you are. I People control, like you are taking over the world. That's I am the taking damn over the world, and I control the station now. That's right. You probably do. And soon, I control mean it's you. Right. Doesn't and mean it's good. And I control Don't you as well. Don't try to make me laugh. And I control you as well. <laughs> Amazing. Your future. Good. Your whole future. Oh, if behind closed doors, oh, everything's okay. It's just if you put it on the radio. No, yeah. not behind closed doors. That's why I was so angry about what was going on in the Jock Lounge. If you'd open up your ears. The Beatles, oh, you wanted to see it. Led Zeppelin. Yeah, all these people she reveres. Jimmy Page. Yeah, Jimmy Page has always been one of my favorites. Right? Um, uh, let me let me name the rest. Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. God, Eric Clapton. <laughs> Uh, heroin kidding. abuser. Many of those people that you are now mentioning, although um, they did go through some real bad times, right, yes. have come and away from it. Maybe Sam will wait. Maybe Sam will come through. Carry it on in front of how many thousands of people constantly? As we all knew about okay. it. I knew about it. As if it's okay, though. Oh, as if it should be endorsed okay. and encouraged. I don't endorse or encourage anything. Yeah, but you'll put Someone it on wants to all come the on. time. Absolutely. And laugh at it. And I'll put you like on all the time. Like it's just a jolly morning radio show. None of those guys ever sang about marijuana or heroin or whatever. Of course they did. And but that's not promoting it? They're not carrying it on the way Sam does in here as if it's all oh, something it's different to be carrying honorable. It's different. It's different. Yeah. I, I, see, I don't get the distinction, but it is different. Yeah. And there's all kinds of morality. Well, they've got some talent, too, so there's a difference there. Well, well see, that's a matter of opinion. See, that's a matter of yeah, opinion. It is. I think Sam is the most talented comedian in the country. Well, I would believe that you would think yes, that. Yes, I do. I do. Makes perfect that's sense. That's right. Are you so serious? I love this. <laughs> God, I could get her naked. Boy, this is good. I like this this morning. You know how many? You don't know how many people call me up and think Meg's a mental case. I know. But, the, but I then know. I'm sure Meg's. Well, friends. I am a mental case. I'll admit that. No, 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 no. You're no, not. No, you're no, a woman of okay. conviction, and I like that. I like that. I yeah. like that you have opinions, even though I think they're misguided. Well, yes. it, I don't. I under. I don't understand the intolerance and how far it goes, and what she would do to people like that. Right. 
I didn't say that I would do anything to them. I simply don't enjoy walking in on it as often as I do here. Oh, it stinks when you walk into this room. Well, you'll probably, you'll probably, you'll probably be seeing a lot more of it. I'm sure I I will. I plan on getting a lot more naked women. Go for it, Howard. More. (laughs) <laughs> the more people, it irritates you, the more it's Because if it gets this kind of reaction with you banging your head against yeah, the wall, man. I love it. Because I love getting away with it. I hope uh, your father's listening this morning. Whose father? Yours. Oh, I hope he is, too. Yeah, no, I mean that. He listens every morning. He's, I remember you saying that he liked it when we fight. Or you know who else likes it? Washington Squares. Oh, they, they love they call it, Howard. You they are love when we do, They don't even... They don't, <laughs> they, they, you know the Washington Squares They stop Squares writing called? their own songs. They only write songs about this now. Your confrontation. I'm telling you. That's right. Meg and her green sweater. Yep, and it's I'm a telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, Meg. You're, you're way off on this. You're, you're so way off. I wish I could... I really just, would love to have a philosophical conversation with you off here one day about this because you what are you? so wrong. You're you are so wrong. Yeah. Well, hey, you're All on. of your rock heroes. You're on. All you right. name it. And All right. I'm going we'll with get you. together. Megan we'll Robin together. are having lunch. What about the Ramones? You interviewed them for years, and let's face it, you know, as Joey has often what said. What the Ramones bring to the stage and bring to the radio is what they do musically. They're not also shoving their lifestyle, whatever it may be, all over the place. Okay? I hey, think there's a, a difference there. You, you don't think that. You think Sam is shoving his lifestyle down people's throats? I think he's just so blatant about not caring about anything that it's disgusting. That's especially him. in a time like this. That's his life. Yeah, and he's also a guy that has an influence he on is an awful lot of people. Like I take a human that as a being. responsibility. Right. And he's Maybe not the health official of New York City no, or yeah. health official. Nobody's he's not looking. claiming to know anything Nobody's except looking how to toward run him. his life. Well, yeah. he shouldn't, and he's not doing too good of a job at that. I'll disagree with that. Well, go ahead. Why? Because he's making money and has women dripping off he him? He had two naked broads in bed with him. Women who are themselves? To, I didn't see anybody dripping. You didn't see anyone they dripping. They kept wiping, so it they wipe. <laughs> She's quick. They wipe as much as anybody else. And I'll tell you oh. something. I didn't see those. You know, those women are doing what they want to do. You can't. St- this is a free society, and that's what it Absolutely. leads to. Absolutely, I believe in democracy. You're in too much mind all control. Way, You're into I, too much mind I'm control. I'm not into mind control at all. I'm into the opposite of it, Howard. God. I think when people's minds are controlled by intoxicants, they're not really going to be very effective. You know. All right, here's Joey. Ramon. He sounded a lot better yesterday because he had slept the night before. No, he didn't. Oh, With now those you're women. Put this on. <laughs> right. The, the women mean? relaxed him. The Actually, drippy women. I love this thing you're about to play. I think oh, you do a, like it. It cracks me up. You like this. He's not shoving this down anyone's throat, though. No. no, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Poor Hi, Gary. It's Joey. Oh. From, uh, <laughs> will you pick up the phone? <laughs> will you wipe that, wipe that off your name? I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't see. I don't, you know. See, now because I started all this, you're getting on Joey. You know? No, I like Joey. But I Joey's the too. first one to say, you know, when he used to come in here, sometimes he'd be a little messed up. And, the, you know, the couple of times that I interviewed him. Mm-hmm. And he says, hey, you know, I mean, I, I if, just, Sam, if Sam's if sam been drinking all night, then. Maybe some of them walk right in and ask for it. But a lot of them are more vulnerable and out of their minds than he is. And they don't know what they're doing. And he's explaining the hell out of it. No, and I think it's I, cool. I see it differently. Well, okay. I see but it as women who, you know, that's why. It's women big. who are busy exploiting men, wanting to suck they out want some of their something fame. something from that man. She wants, those two girls and wanted something from him. And he allows them to actually think that they're going to get it. I didn't no, see him doing that. No, 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 no. There are plenty of women who just want to, like Pamela DeBars. I just want to be able to write a book about all right. the guys I slept with. Hey, that man, I'm telling famous. you, Luna ain't writing no books, and that's for sure. Well, Luna didn't sleep with some. Luna could be a genius in her country. That's we right. just don't know. That's right. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't you insulting? Who said that? Isn't, uh, aren't you being insulting? Robin slept with Sam last night. I was hoping to be in his new movie, and I don't resent everything yeah, you just see said. There. <laughs> see, for Robin to do it wouldn't bother me that much because she's got some brains. I see these people walking around who are like little victims. And they're not all right. That Meg, see, on. that's where you get you're off too, track. You're wrong. These people victims. are like the, free, like the bald most girls, of them white like and the 21. beauties, you know? I mean, these women don't know what the hell they're doing, and these men that are carrying on... I think you're giving those women very little credit. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They look like they're about 16, and they don't have any clothes on, and they're dripping all over these pimp types, and they look like they know what they're doing. Yeah. Would you like to see your daughter like that at 16? My daughter wouldn't be like that. Right. What? He's working hard to make That's sure right. that she has a secure, firm upbringing. Now, we can't raise everyone in America. Meg wants me to raise everyone in America. I know America. she does. Oh, I know she does. She wants me to get on. She wants to take her son. She wants me to get on the radio and, and reform all yeah. of the children right. of America like every day. Like that's going to work. People yeah. have been reforming all this time. we still got these God, maniacs I don't running want to around. Do any such you want to talk about victims? Let's talk about an unemployed cope, okay? Excuse me, what? What? Can't make jokes, Meg. Unemployed what? 
unemployed cope. <laughs> kind of. He's in Paris. He's not unemployed. Okay. Anyway, so listen, Meg's got to do her show now, and she'll be informing people on how to live. Yeah, oh, okay. tune into Meg no, because I Meg is now going to raise your children live. for you. Boy, Meg. I just see some things that I don't like, and look, everybody's got mm. a fuse, and sometimes it goes off. It's called being human, you know? Uh, I don't know. We should let Leslie West call him. God, I think uh, even Fred. He did. He did a half hour on Meg on the phone to me. Yeah, yeah? he has he her all not. figured out. He did. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Leslie has it figured out. Off a year. I don't mean. What on is him. he worried about talking about me? For? He's, he's interested in you. Oh God. He's taking special interest. <laughs> Leslie West analyzing Meg. Boy, yes, yeah, so I tell you, Leslie's it. got your figured out. Come on out. now, you got me curious. Finally, I'm like the phone is like this because I'm listening, <laughs> and I go, Leslie. See, it's I cool. look at him and I want to know what how he would analyze me. Oh, he's got you figured out. Yes. So what? Believe it or not, Leslie. Leslie, in his own kooky way, has got Meg figured wow. out. But I'm not going to speak for Leslie. Leslie's got to call in. Oh, you mean I got to deal with him on this on yes. the air? Yeah. Hot seat, Howard. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you are a boiling issue with Leslie. Oh, really? He, oh, that's fascinating. He took my ear off for a half hour <laughs> last night. And... What's with Meg? <laughs> I go. What do you mean, Les? I, man, I don't understand something here. Let me look. Wait, where was she before? Wait, wait a second. What? And then like a half hour. <laughs> yeah, and then he's off, right? Off to That's the right. races. Exactly. Hmm. Well, at least you and Steve have each other, Steve Capen, because I know he's as strongly willed as you are and was into the same political mm -hmm. kind of. Right. I know he believed in using the radio for political beliefs. and It's not the only reason to use it, Howard, you know? know. Fun, song, and dance, and all that, too. I'm not talking mm -hmm. about I'm a little afraid to have fun. I have a sense of humor. Okay. Yeah, sometimes oh, we even no. find it. It's oh, oh, here's Leslie. God. It's the best radio I've heard of the Megan uh, for years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been building up to this one, Leslie. Meg, Meg, what's your problem? I don't understand. I don't know. What do you mean, what's my problem? You think Sam is forcing these girls to this? I don't think he's necessarily forcing I anything. I, I just don't like what he exposes everybody I to think constantly. You like a little reaction yourself. Well, no. I think you're real wrong. <laughs> See, I told you Leslie had you figured he's out. Yeah, figured out all <laughs> right. No, listen, I'm only kidding. You. Have kidding you me. slept lately? Come on, go ahead, Leslie. If you walked in the room yesterday with Howard and Sam, you would have ended up with gigantic ratings on your show, and then you could have inflicted your point of view on people. But this way, nobody's getting to hear anything you have to say. What do you mean nobody's getting to hear anything? Well, you hide out in the hallway. You could have come in there yesterday. Well, I'm in here now. And she's yeah. saying what's on Oh, I purposely didn't come in yesterday, and I'll admit why. I didn't want to come in here with all these guys and Sam at me. I because whether you feel you're right or wrong, it's real difficult to, to wade through that. I think only Sam and Alan were in there yesterday. I don't know who was in here, but for Sam to be in here with Howard and everybody else was enough for me to say, uh-uh. Well, I don't know. Hey, Leslie, for some reason, when you call... Yeah, what is that echoey yeah. thing? I don't know. You can never understand him, and he has a bad phone. Oh, no, come on. You can't hear me? Now I can. Oh. I still watch you in the money pit all the time, though, and I think you were superb. There you go, Leslie. All right, Leslie, you know what? It was kind of funny last night when you did the half hour on Meg. Well, it's great to see her in there arguing with you because that's when uh, she... See, did. she should have come in. You're right. She should have come in and uh, <laughs> said this yesterday, the day before. No, because you know what Leslie oh, does? Leslie this listens to like a whole hour argument, and then on the phone tonight, he'll be on the phone to me analyzing the argument. Every minute of it. And like, yeah, and blow every, by blow. Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and the retention is unreal. Yeah? Oh, every little thing Meg said will be cataloged inside of Leslie's head. He can't remember Woodstock, but he remembers That's Meg's right. arguments. Can't remember where his Woodstock can't remember where his car is parked. Woodstock was a bore compared to how it's I agree with you. Yes. Anyway, couldn't keep his sorry. guitar strap on, which oh, you'll see in the video. Oh, that was funny. Uh, All right, Les. Why didn't you come to the show? Now I, I expected to see you there. Meg was busy Me? that night. I, I had my son, and it's not the kind of show I'm going to no, take him to, Leslie. No way. It's just, you know, I like the kid, and I was with him. She'd rather go see Jerry Lee Lewis, a man whose That's lifestyle right. she would like right. to see promoted. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Meg, I guess you like his lifestyle, huh? He married some of your age. Now, now, what about Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, who you promote on the air regularly? And talk He's about never he taken advantage of a woman. He doesn't parade it around. I mean, no, I have to keep, no. uh, okay. keep uh, repeating oh, the same thing. No, I don't endorse a lot of the stuff that he does, but he's also not the, out there endorsing <laughs> He didn't himself. parade it around. Man is a felon. Uh, <laughs> Wyman and Mary are going out with a 13-year-old. No, she loves the Stones. That's different. He doesn't parade that. He doesn't parade that. That's true. That's true. Oh, Meg, please. Yeah, you know, what you do in your own life is your own business, but don't you don't do in the halls. You have, to, you have to have it out and act as if it's totally cool to push it on other people. A man who had two women die under suspicious circumstances. Right, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but okay, listen, I can't get through to Meg. If Meg was my woman and I could get her down in bed and we could relax naked and talk, that'd be one thing. She's looking for the Elvis child care book, I think. That's <laughs> she, it. she wants to raise her kids like Elvis. Anyway, no. Meg, you beautiful man. <laughs> All right. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Bye. Right, listen, Meg, I can't straighten you out today. It's going <laughs> to take longer than this. Give up on it, man. I'll I get, can't uh, straighten me out either. I'll admit it. I am a mental case. But, you know, if you ask me some questions, I'm going to give you some answers. You're just a very sexy blah, blah, blah. woman, though. Very sexy. Blah, 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 blah. But not for the reasons you think. Don't tell me you didn't get hot for me during that argument. <laughs> I got hot, but not for you. <laughs> mm. For caping? Oh, maybe. That's <laughs> always so possible. Good. As good as he is in bed, I'm ten times better. Because <laughs> I spent a lot of years alone <laughs> thinking about <laughs> that women. That makes you good in bed it with sure somebody does. else. <laughs> oh, yeah. Besides, Fred says I'm better in bed than Steve Cape. Yeah. <laughs> well, he would be the only one in the room. Who knows? <laughs> I think Meg sees me as sort of like Satan. Yeah, I think so. You're yeah. Dante's oh, Inferno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you're, yeah. I'm now like, you, I'm like the incarnate of evil. You're on it. Yep. I dig that. Oh, I you love that. You would do that. anything Thank for you. ratings, Howard. Anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Torture the young. Hey, look what you did last Saturday night. Come on. What, what did we, we do? do? Where you weren't there. Anything. You weren't there. I worms. Kay Gardella just entered the Room. tomorrow no that's enough that's well, Meg, you're right you have to make sure that everyone orders the videotape to see exactly what i did right. Meg is absolutely <laughs> right see what the devil incarnate was doing backstage that's right see what sam kinnison was doing that's backstage. right see i'm really here just to sell that meg video. gives the review yes. without seeing don't you be making don't you make the same mistake like a cesspool explosion that's right <laughs> It was Saturday night. Well, the introduction sounded real classy. What? <laughs> Rolling what? someone out with no arms and legs Thank to play you. the Star Spangled Banner with their tongue. I mean, we are talking class act, <laughs> Howard. You. What? That woman no. likes to perform. Oh, I took advantage of her, I suppose. <sighs> I just yeah. said it was a class opening. Yes, let's hide the handicapped yeah. man. Let's keep them hidden somewhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's bowl with them, too. Meanwhile, Worth throwing? Are you into that? Do you know that woman? I'm going to try to put out. I certainly would. I you know what? Ask. You know what? Next video. <laughs> the woman with no arms and legs? Yeah, thank you for giving us a new sport. What? Dominic Barber's... Um, oh, you can come up with something better than that. Dominic Barber's limo driver was driving her around. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to talk. Uh, about at one point, he took a right turn, and uh, Celestine went flying <laughs> across oh, the car. No. <laughs> they didn't strap her in. No. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Well, as Meg says, better Celestine be out in the cold begging That's as opposed true. to a nice warm yeah. coliseum. Or on welfare. Mm. Right, yeah, okay, Absolutely. yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Hide her somewhere. All right, Meg. I'm not talking about hide We her. put her in the coliseum. Good for you. Hey. Boy, she, and then you get, <laughs> you go from being serious to, like, getting crazy. I told you I'm a You're going to be a bag lady in, like, 25 oh, years. We're going to be bag We're going to have Meg. One of our performers in about twenty years. I live here every day. I am already a bad guy. Oh man, it's true. All right, we gotta go. Meg will be at the Coliseum next time. I'm gonna go back and write Green Acres, uh -uh. 1979. Green Acres. I'll be in the gutter in the Bowery. Thank you. That's her we'll fantasy. We'll find you. Uh, yeah, you would find me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to Meg? We're bringing it up. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Meg makeover. <coughs> and, uh, spray this with Lysol. Because I've been sick. And there you have it. Quite an intriguing episode, I must say. So, what have we learned today on Master Tape Theater? Well, for one, a visit from Richard Simmons guarantees a good time for all. You know what this outfit is? He's trolling for Cub Scouts. Uh, uh, <laughs> Plus, when making a choice in the political arena, be sure to always cover your ass. No, we've endorsed the Republican candidate. We haven't endorsed the Democratic candidate yet. <laughs> and finally, when it comes to pleasing his parents, Howard just cannot win. My mother doesn't understand that if there's 16,000 people in the audience and I don't spot her right away, there's something wrong with me as a son. Right. Uh, what you know, was my, he my... supposed to do? Howard you should have had me at your side, Howard. I'm your host, Sir Hard and Thick. Tune in next week for another uncensored episode of Howard Stern's Master Tape Theater.
And for all of you Stern fans, now is your chance to be heard. Send an email to thetapes at howardstern.com to request a future Master Tape Theatre episode. Cheers. This has been a Howard's.